Can artificial intelligence truly understand our emotions? Not just detect a frown or a raised voice, but really understand? Can it feel what we feel? In today's digital age, we interact with AI more than ever. From voice assistants and chatbots to healthcare algorithms and smart home devices, the presence of AI in our lives is constant. But as these systems grow more sophisticated, they're also becoming more emotionally aware. Or at least that's what they claim. This video explores the fascinating and controversial intersection of AI and human emotion. We'll unpack the technology, the psychology, the ethics and the future of emotionally intelligent machines. Is it empathy or simulation? And does it matter? Emotionally intelligent AI refers to systems that can recognize, interpret and sometimes respond to human emotions. It's powered by two major branches of AI, natural language processing, which allows machines to understand and generate human language, and computer vision, which enables AI to interpret visual data like facial expressions and gestures. The journey started modestly. Early sentiment analysis tools were basic, identifying positive or negative tones in emails or reviews. But the last five years have changed everything. Now AI can detect emotions in voice recordings by analyzing pitch, pace and hesitation. It can scan your face through a webcam and identify micro expressions that signal discomfort, confusion or joy. It can even pick up emotional context in written messages, such as sarcasm, frustration or excitement, with increasing accuracy. Practical applications have exploded. Customer service bots now de-escalate angry clients using empathetic responses. Educational tools adjust their tone or complexity based on student frustration. Mental health platforms use emotion recognition to provide timely interventions. One standout is Ellie, a virtual therapist developed to detect subtle signs of depression in voice and facial expression. Another is Affectiva, a company developing AI that reads facial emotion in real time for market research and automotive safety. But just because an AI seems emotionally intelligent, doesn't mean it understands. To grasp what emotionally intelligent AI can and can't do, we need to distinguish between perception and comprehension. AI doesn't feel, it processes, it doesn't get angry, feel grief or experience joy. It recognizes patterns in data that suggest an emotional state. When you frown, AI measures the angle of your eyebrows, the tension in your jaw. It compares that data to thousands or millions of previous images and infers your emotion. When you type a message, AI dissects your word choices, punctuation, even your spelling mistakes to infer mood. This is detection, not understanding. Emotions in humans are rooted in biology, our hormones, memories, experiences. We don't just show sadness, which we feel it in our body and mind. AI can simulate a response to that sadness, but it doesn't share it. Furthermore, emotion recognition has serious limitations. It struggles with context. A smile can be happiness, sarcasm, or politeness, depending on the situation. Cultural nuance. What's considered rude, friendly, or aggressive varies hugely between cultures. Ambiguity. Human emotions are rarely one-dimensional. We often feel multiple things at once. And this opens the door to serious risks, especially when emotional responses are automated or used to make decisions. As emotion sensing AI becomes more common, so do the ethical concerns. First, bias in emotion recognition. If the data sets used to train AI are predominantly Western or male, the system may misread emotions in women, ethnic minorities or non-native speakers. This has already been seen in facial recognition technologies, with higher error rates for black and Asian individuals. Now imagine those biases applied to emotion. A job interview bot misreading nervousness as dishonesty. An education app mistaking cultural expressiveness for defiance. A security system flagging harmless behaviors as threats. Second, manipulation. If a company knows your emotional state, it can tailor its messages to exploit it. Feeling lonely? You're more likely to click a dating app ad anxious. Here's a sale on comfort products. Emotional targeting isn't theoretical. It's already happening. The ethical line between helpful and exploitative is razor thin. Third, emotional surveillance. In workplaces, some companies are testing AI that tracks employee emotions to optimize productivity. 
In education, tools are monitoring students' faces during online classes. In public spaces, governments are trialing emotion detection cameras under the banner of safety. But what happens to that emotional data? Who owns it? Can it be used against you? Despite the risks, emotionally intelligent AI has the power to do good if used responsibly. In mental health, AI is already making a difference. Virtual companions offer safe, stigma-free environments for people to express feelings. Some tools help monitor mood swings, predict depressive episodes, and encourage healthier habits. In elder care, emotionally responsive robots can reduce loneliness and assist caregivers. In education, AI can respond to a child's emotional state, adapting the lesson, offering encouragement, or even signaling when a human teacher needs to step in. These systems don't replace human care, but they can support it. They offer scalability, 24 7 access, and a level of consistency that human services often struggle to match. Importantly, they also help us gather data, not just about individual emotions, but about human emotional patterns at scale. AI isn't just mimicking emotion, it's becoming a tool to understand it better. By analyzing huge amounts of emotional data, from facial expressions to language tone to physiological signals, AI is helping researchers map how emotions form and evolve over time, understand how trauma affects emotional expression, explore links between emotions and physical health, discover cross-cultural similarities and differences in emotional expression, it's also aiding in the early detection of conditions like autism, dementia and PTSD, where emotional expression may be altered or masked. This opens a world of possibility in personalized medicine, psychological therapy and social care. But here's the truth. AI can recognize emotion. It can respond to emotion, but it cannot feel emotion. It doesn't love. It doesn't fear. It doesn't grieve. It doesn't dream. It doesn't write poetry because it feels heartbreak. It doesn't compose music from joy or agony. It doesn't look into someone's eyes and know what they're going through. That's what it means to be human. And no algorithm can replicate that. Even the most advanced AI is still an outsider looking in, performing empathy, not experiencing it. And that distinction matters. As we continue building these powerful tools, we must do so with caution, intention and compassion. Let AI enhance our lives. Let it support our well-being. Let it help us understand ourselves. But let us never outsource what it means to be human. Can AI understand human emotion? To some extent, yes. But only we can decide what that understanding is used for and whether it deepens our connection or replaces it. If you found this video thought-provoking, Subscribe for more in-depth explorations of AI and the human condition. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Do you think AI will ever truly understand us?